Welcome to FIFA 19 for match day 32 of the Premier League where we have a two horse race for the title between Man City and Liverpool. City traveled to Craven Cottage where Arsenal and Man United left with a beating and Alexander Mitrovic puts the citizens behind after only five minutes. It's gonna be an awkward afternoon. City only need a few minutes to get it together because Kevin De Bruyne scores an amazing equalizer. Right footed strike beautifully placed into the top right corner. But it's the leaders who have to suffer Fulham's rule. Ryan Sessegnon makes it 2-1 after 25 minutes. City might be in trouble today after losing four points against Watford and Man United. We're 30 minutes underway when Sterling misses his first chance and Fulham get another one as well before the break. Ederson stops Mitrovic from his second goal. It's all about getting the equalizer in the second half because City have no other options but Sterling misses again. Fulham react with one good counter-attack, Mitrovic is isolated in front of Ederson and the Serbian makes it 3-1. What a stunt from the Cottagers and what a bad timing for Manchester City. No choice but to accept the defeat even though City pull one back from a badly cleared corner kick. Fernandinho gets the 3-2. And Spurs are looking to get points from their trip to Anfield Road, seeing that they are the best team away from home. Liverpool have a more difficult schedule for the remaining part of the league, with a trip to Stamford Bridge amongst others. So the divine trio in Liverpool's attack is bound to make its mark today. Mo Salah after 17 minutes with a stunning blast into the far corner after quite a run past Danny Rose. That's number 22 for the King. Spurs are unable to get into the box with ground passes, so they try via the air. A free kick from Harry Kane after a foul from Virgil van Dijk goes over the wall and behind Allison in goal. A fine strike from Kane to get his 23rd goal, but the wall could have done a better job because they didn't even jump. Stoppage time before the break and Alexander Arnold with a cross. Roberto Firmino heads in his 13th of the season. The best defense is the attack and Nabi Keita has a go denied by Lloris. Sadio Mane with a cross to Joe Gomez but he misses his header by a mile. Sadio Mane again with a cross. Keita denied. Liverpool smell victory and first place, but they have to thank Alisson Becker for this save. And also the final chance for Spurs is saved by Alisson Becker. 2-1 thanks to the Brazilian. Chelsea have ruined their shot at the title last week and travel to Cardiff where Ward delivers the assist for Kenneth Zohor 1-0. And Cardiff play without fear after last week's 3-4 win in Brighton. It's Chelsea who suffer from insecurity. Pass from Josh Murphy to Ward. Ball goes just wide. Chelsea are totally absent today. Gunnarsson misses the next chance. Finally, with 15 minutes left on the clock, Olivier Giroud has a chance. Etheridge denies him, but Sean Morrison came in too strong. Red card and a penalty kick. Hazard missed three penalties so far and this was number four. Also the rebound is stopped by Neil Etheridge. And also David Lewis fails to score. Chelsea can lose their third place to Man United who go in front right after kickoff via Romelu Lukaku. A fine touch from the Belgian to open the score against Watford. His 18th goal so far. Angel Gomez comes close to doubling the lead for United but he is denied by Foster and Watford only create one good chance at Old Trafford. Troy Deeney misses the equalizer. Arsenal have a chance to get closer to Tottenham and they go in front via Alexandra Lacazette against Newcastle. Aubameyang cannot get a goal to get away from Harry Kane and to make Arsenal's trouble even bigger Jocelu determines the one all final score. A great goal though. Two points from Arsenal's last four games. Wolverhampton kept the Gunners at a two all draw last week and go 1-0 behind in Burnley. Ben Mee and Chris Wood both go for the ball but it's Chris Wood who gets the goal officially. 
Cavaliero hits the post for Wolves and Adama Traore gets them a penalty kick. But they just keep on missing them. This time it's Connor Cody. West Ham play another boring match at the London Stadium. Cenk Dosu hits the post for Everton. And Diop has the best hammers chance over. Nil nil. It's gonna be an exciting struggle for 7th place because Crystal Palace are having a good run. The Eagles play Huddersfield at Selhurst Park and get a penalty kick that is converted by Luka Milivojevic. The 2-0 is another fine finish from Norwegian striker Alexander Surlot. But Huddersfield managed to pull one back via Steve Mounier after a strong run from Laurent de Poitre. It remains a struggle until the 87th minute when Wilfried Zaha sets the Eagles free. Such an important man for Palace who get a 3-1 victory against the Terriers. Bournemouth are halfway to the championship but go 1-0 up in Leicestershire via Callum Wilson. And they even score a second against Kasper Schmeichel via David Brooks. Leicester City had a great start of the season but really dropped back in the return round. Jamie Vardy gets his 20th goal of the season but no points for his team today. Brighton are in 18th place with 5 points more than rivals Southampton and 2 more than Bournemouth. All 3 of these teams come from the south coast so this is a massive derby at the Amex Stadium. Southampton have no choice but to push forward and to score. Hoybjerg hits the post from a free kick and that's a really cruel moment in the game for the visitors. They don't lose hope yet and keep on attacking like samurai warriors. Hoybjerg stopped by Matt Ryan again. 63 minutes played when Montoya sets up Glenn Murray. Good vision from Murray and Jose Izquierdo gets the 1-0 for Brighton. A horror scenario for Southampton but a dream come true for the Amex Stadium. The Colombian brings them back into the race for 17th place. It's do or die for the Saints and James Ward-Prowse has the only chance for one all, but he misses it. So close for Southampton to come back again, just like last week against Watford. Brighton couldn't be happier. See you on the next one, guys. Peace.